ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ലേൺ ഫിസിക്സ് ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു കണ്ടിന്യൂ വിത്ത് ആർ യൂണിറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് മെഷർമെൻറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് വി ലേൺ ടിൽ എറർ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് എറർ എബ്സലൂട്ട് എറർ റിലേറ്റീവ് എറർ ആൻഡ് പേഴ്സൻറ്റേജ് എറർ നൗ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് കോമ്പിനേഷൻ ഓഫ് എറേഴ്സ് കോമ്പിനേഷൻ ഓഫ് എറേഴ്സ് if errors it is combining if we are combining the errors what will happen so combining in the sense if we are adding the two values in both the values errors are there then how it will be affecting the final value if we are taking the difference between of two values how it will be affecting the final result the errors how it will be affecting the final result that is called a combination of errors if we are taking addition or subtraction if we add or subtract the values suppose i am taking one value a it has a plus or minus delta a like that if i am writing so a is the ah yes real value or true value delta a is the error so including that this is the measured value so while i am taking a length of a one uh, rod while i am taking length length of one rod if suppose is of 10 cm if i am getting the value as 10.5 so that is 10 plus 0.5 so i can get it as 9.8 also okay that is the error which is happening to me so 10 minus 0.2 okay so this is the true value and this is the error so error can either a little bit positive or little bit negative it can be so while we are adding two terms next b is b plus or minus delta a if i am adding these two that is a plus b while i am finding out the error what will happen to errors errors also will be added up so the in find while finding out a plus b what will happen to the error errors also will add up that is delta a plus or minus delta b like that it will be added up okay so if we, so i am taking plus or minus outside so it will be plus so the errors will be added up okay if we are adding these two measured values errors also will be added up okay and suppose if i am subtracting those two values a minus b while i am finding out then also the errors will be added up okay so if i am adding these two values errors will be added up if i am subtracting those two values errors will be added up okay clear so while we are subtracting or adding the errors will be added up okay so suppose i have a rod of 10.5 10 plus or minus 0.3 cm and another ro- rod of 8 plus or minus 0.5 cm what is the total length of the rod which i am having i am finding out the total re- length of the rod total length means total length means 10 plus 8 this is the true values isn't it so 10 plus 8 this we should add so 18 i got what should have what we should do for the errors errors also will be adding up plus or minus 0.8 this will be the total okay if i am finding out what is the difference of length between these two rods if i am finding out what will be the difference 10 minus 8 plus or minus see while we are taking the difference the errors what will happen errors always it will add up isn't it so plus 0.5 plus 0.3 it is 
so it will be 2 plus or minus 0.8 centimeter now you understood what is the meaning of this what will happen if we are combining the errors in as addition or subtraction if we are adding the terms then the errors will be added up or if we are subtracting the terms the errors will be added up okay so derivation is there in the textbook that derivation again if i am doing also it's a simple derivation only so it is easy for you to understand through the textbook so this is the uh, this content content means so if we are adding the terms or subtracting the terms errors always it will add up okay it will be added errors will be added up clear now next is multiplication or division multiplication or division if we are multiplying or dividing the quantities what will happen see suppose if i am considering uh, a equals a, a dash equals a plus or minus delta a b dash equals b plus or minus delta b so what is delta a here this is the error and this is the actual value this is the actual value and this is the error i am finding out a dash into b dash for that first we can find out a into b find out that then you will get the errors okay so this is a into b i am taking it as z then delta z by z will be equal to delta a by into a plus delta b by b this will be the error okay so the relative error of the final result will be equal to the sum of relative error of each multiplier okay that means how we can do i'll solve it with an example suppose length of a wire is 3 plus or minus um, 0.3 centimeter length of a rectangle is this much breadth of a rectangle is 2 plus or minus 0.4 centimeter find area of the rectangle how we can find out the area what is the formula length into breadth okay so length into breadth is the formula which you are we are using to find out the area so here how, what we should do first we should do 3 into 2 that is 6 now errors what will happen so delta a by a will be equal to this is the area 6 okay delta a will be equal to delta l by l plus delta b divided by b because the relative error should add up okay so in this case we can do it as delta a by a will be equal to what is delta l 0.3 divided by 3 plus 0.4 divided by 2 so tell me what will be what will happen here it is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 that is 0 0.3 this is delta a by a so here we should find out delta a as a into 0 0.3 so a already we got how much is a 6 6 into 0 0.3 so it will be 1.8 so that is the error 1.8 is the error so what will be the final result for area the answer will be a plus or a is 6 we got 6 plus or minus 1.8 centimeter square like this you will get understood how we are finding out the final answer okay so the relative error of the uh, will be equal to the sum of relative error of the multiplier relative error of the product will be equal to sum of the relative errors of the multipliers okay this is the case of multiplication then division how we can do the same way we can do the division also okay next is division in the case of division a divided by b if i am doing what we should do a dash divided by b dash I'm doing. first find out a by b a divided by b then the relative errors delta a by a, a 
z delta z by z equal z is the z is a by b z equals a dash divided by b dash we are going to find out so delta z by z equals delta a by a plus delta b by b here also relative errors will add up so what you understood if you are doing the addition or subtraction errors will add up if we are doing multiplication or division relative errors of the the product will be equal to sum of relative errors of the multipliers in the case of product or division quotient that one if you are finding out okay so here one question i had given v equals 100 plus or minus 5 volt i equals 10 plus or minus 0.2 ampere we are going to find out the resistance how we can find out the resistance here resistance formula is v by i so we can find out the true value 100 divided by 10 that is equal to 10 ohm then what will happen to this resistance delta r by r will be equal to delta v by v plus delta i by i if you are dividing also the relative errors will add up so we will get it as what is delta v 5 by 100 plus what is this 10 delta 0.2 divided by 10 so you can solving this we will get it as delta r by r equals 1 by 20 plus 0.2 divided by 10 how we will get 20 divided by 100 that is 1 by 5 so 20 is the LCM we will get it as 1 plus 4 so 5 by 20 that is equal to 1 by 4 so we are getting it as delta r by r as 1 by 4 from here we can find out delta r how 1 by 4 into r what is r here 10 so 1 by 4 into 10 okay so 10 by 4 2 5 2.5 you will get okay so what is the final result of r 10 plus or minus 2.5 so don't oh okay so don't forget to find out the relative error okay relative error equals 1 by 4 from there you should find out delta r okay clear now this is okay next we are going to find out the error when we are considering the powers okay so next is power if i am considering the power suppose z equals a to the power uh, p b to the power q and c to the power r if I am considering Z as like this, what will happen to the error? See here, delta Z by Z equals P into delta A by A plus Q into delta B by B plus R into delta C by C. This will be the error. Plus or minus P into delta A by A q into delta b by b r into delta c by c all these things will add up okay this is how we will be finding out the error for a if power is given in the question okay so so now we will find out one question an example shall we do next in your textbook one question one solved example is given as see a simple pendulum to find out this uh, in the period of a simple pendulum is equal to g into 2, 2 pi t equals 2 pi into root of L by G. This is the formula. Okay. So what we should find out is we should find out the G. What is the error in calculating the G? Okay. For that, the, in the question it is given as length as 20 centimeter for 0.1 millimeter accuracy. So 1 millimeter accuracy, not 0.1, 1 millimeter accuracy and t as 90 second for 1 second accuracy 1 second resolution it is given as 1 second resolution so in the question it is given t equals 2 pi into root of l by g for a simple pendulum period of a simple pendulum is t equals 2 pi into root l by g 
okay so here length is given as 20 centimeter for 1 millimeter accuracy and time period is given as 90 second for 1 second resolution actually in the question it is not time period uh, it is given as for 100 oscillations 90 seconds so for time period how we will be finding out divided by the number of oscillations so number of oscillation won't be uh, will be cancelling over here so no need that one okay we can consider like this only okay so we should find out delta g by delta g g what is the error which is occurring in g we should find out how we can find out g here see so first we should kind of find an equation for g g for finding out the equation of g see i am squaring both the sides t square equals 4 pi square into l by g so g equals 4 pi square into l by t square this is the equation so we got so we got the equation as g equals 4 pi square into l by t square this is g okay then how we can find out delta g by g here 4 pi square no need to consider delta l by l this is constant constants won't be having any error delta l by l plus 2 into delta t by t because division also will come it as yes addition only if it is addition or multiplication or division errors will be relative errors will add up then t square so that will come as 2 into delta t by t now you tell me what is delta l accuracy is for 1 millimeter accuracy so what is delta l is given in centimeters so we can convert this as also 1 millimeter also as a centimeter so it will be 0.1 centimeter then t is given as 90 seconds then delta t is given as 1 second okay so delta l by l 0.1 divided by 20 plus 2 into 1 divided by 90 this one you can calculate and find out using the formula then here delta G will be equal to 0.1 by 20 plus 1 by 45 into G. This will be the, if you are calculating, you will find out, you can find out the answer. Okay, so this is how we should find out the errors. If we are combining the errors, what will happen? So, clear now the combination of errors, how we are getting? So, I hope all of you understood all those things. If you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.